What's up guys? Welcome back to Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. I'm gonna continue doing some exploration in the Lost Bastille. That sounds like he had a horrible case of indigestion. Anyway. Let's see what's through this door. Uh, I think I know where I am, kind of. Yeah, yeah, okay. The Bastille Key. Well, aren't you a sneaky boy? Man, did y'all see that? I actually have iframes now. Come on, do another attack. Man, isn't that great? It's a little bit more like playing Dark Souls 1. You can actually, like, dodge things kind of easily. What the? Oh, yeah, I forgot that happened. The gargoyles, they, like, fly all about. Okay. I don't think that happens in the original Dark Souls 2. Maybe it does, I don't know. Okay. Gonna go up here. Smack. Ow. Yep, that's, that's what I wanted to do. You know, I'm locked on, but, you know, who cares? Just turn around and hit the wall. <sighs> this game. This game. No. Go away. Yeah. Just destroy everything with my big great sword. fine to me. Ooh. Got skeletons in their closet. Okay, yeah. This wraps back around to, um... This. Or... No? Not what I was thinking it was. Okay, and him exploding triggered that thing to open. No. Stop trying to explode me. I don't want to be exploded. Whoop. Oh, you stupid enemy. You stupid, dumb enemy. Not a thing. <laughs> Hiding place? Who knows? Who knows what that is? Alright. What does this go to? An item. Two green blossoms is a good item, too. Is that it? There's nothing else here? Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay. One of these messages was actually helpful. Now where am I? You again? Really? I think he is the pursuer, so makes sense. Now 
There we go. Got me some more twinkling titanite. I wonder what's a good weapon for a strength build that I could use twinkling titanite to upgrade. Get out of here. Stupid archer. Bracing knuckle ring. That, uh... Will decrease weapon degradation. Which is good if you're, like, gonna be in an area for a long time. And you don't have much repair powder or anything. Flame butterfly and torch. Yay. And it's also good for, um... Can I walk here? Okay. Where does this go? It's also good for weapons that have, like, really low durability, like katanas and things like that. Is that... Hmm. Okay. Ooh, there's an item over there. Don't remember what it is, but I want it. It's shiny. Golden Wing Shield and Soul of a Brave Warrior. The Golden Wing Shield, I believe, is the shield of the Falconers, if I'm not terribly mistaken. Maybe? Maybe not. Where is it? It must not be, because... Yeah, no, it's, it's a different shield. What is this? Blue shield with a gold relief of wings, likely a symbol of guardianship used by Knights of the Blue. Contains materials enchanted by magic, allowing spells to be deflected by parrying. What's it look like? Oh, that is a cool looking shield. I like it. What are the stats? Ugh. 60 physical defense. Yuck. But 55. Um, uh, stability. So this is a good shield against magic, just not like physical stuff. Hmm. Well, it's worth keeping in mind. It's really cool looking. I would use it. So, it might be good in a place like the Shrine of Amana later on, where there's like a ton of magic users that will make life a living hell. Oh, be wary of jumping off, yeah. Yep, plunge attacks are great in this game. <laughs> Just go watch uh, Saint Riot's latest playthrough of Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. Ask him about plunging attacks in uh, Dark Souls 2. How wonderful they are and how they always work. There we go. Yep. Yeah, I just, I just love how just hit the barrel and it just blows right up on me. Even though I'm not using a flame weapon at all. I guess it's the, the sparks that make it do that. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Alright, I'm actually going to warp back to... Where is it? The servants' quarters. And then maybe go in a different direction than the way I went the first time. go. Back over here. And then up here. Uh-oh. Can't forget about you. Loser. keep doing it. I, I can't resist it. It's so much fun to blow myself up. I just, I can't not do it. I'm addicted. I'm hooked. I did it once, and then it's like, that. this is my life now. I blow myself up. See, I 
went that way. Uh, oh, look at the little idiot up there. Let's do something about him. There we go. So what's up here? Oh yeah. I must have been here already. Isn't this like right below Strade's holding cell? I must have approached it from a different direction. Right? Isn't this where Strade is? Yeah, totally. Okay. Hmm. No, it's not. You lie. Stop with your lies. Uh. Hmm. And then there's this thing. Yeah. How many ferrous lock stones do I have? Because I feel like there's one, a significant one that I missed here earlier. Okay, I've got plenty. Let me look around some more. explosives at me. You know what? You you can just get spanked, sir. Get your malformed claws. Yeah, I want to say there's a uh, little thing for uh, Ferris Lockstone in here that I missed earlier on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. remember what it is, but I think it's pretty good. Whatever it is. A soul vessel. That is good. Yeah, that's for, uh... Gives me another chance to respec if I want to. Yeah, that's great. And then the room's kind of lit up, and it looks better this way. Look at the statue of this distinguished old man in his robe and sandals with his sword. Goals, man. That's that's the kind of man I want to be. With a robe and sandals and a sword. I've got a robe here somewhere. And I've got sandals. I, uh... Don't have a sword. Hmm. Maybe a rifle will do. <laughs> Then I just look like your average Southern American in the morning. <laughs> Going out to get his newspaper with his AR-15. Because that's, that's what we do in the South. You better believe it. <laughs> okay. That's enough dilly-dallying, I think. Whee! Of course I can't. Get out of here, mutt. Let me think. I'll... I'll go back to Majula and see if I can spin these souls on a level. And if not, I'll just buy, like, more, uh... life gems or something. Life gems are always good. There. Yep, I can do exactly one level. So if I level up strength, yeah, now it's starting to like boost my attack power pretty decent with the uh, great sword. But I also want to boost up my life a little more. I wonder if I should add more endurance. I don't know. Hmm. We'll just do... Hmm. 
feel like my life is decent for now. So is my attack power. I don't know. Let's alternate them until I get them both to 40. I'm over level 100 at this point. That happens so early in Dark Souls 2. Like, by the time you beat the game, you're probably closer to level 200. Dark Souls 1, not so much. You'll be, like, around, like, level 80. Hmm. How many arrows have I got? 300. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay. <clears throat> I guess I'll do, uh... What do I want to do first? The Lost Center or... Now you know what, let's do the gargoyles. Go ahead and get that out of the way. That's an optional area, but it should be entertaining nonetheless. <clears throat> I think, uh... If I remember correctly, I could be confusing this for something else, but I don't think I am. I think you can get the soul of the gargoyles and eventually get like a gargoyle bident, which is like a spear. It scales really well with strength. Oh yeah, here's this guy. The uh the moon version of the well, psychotic puppet. <laughs> Him and the one at Belfry Soul, I think, are you wish cousins. To become the bell you do. For the prince and the princess forever. For true. No. <laughs> Useless fool. Filthy undead. Be gone right now and it's off with your head. <laughs> that is bold talk coming from a tiny puppet man sitting on some Chester drawers. Just saying. Uh huh. Look at all of them. Weirdos. <clears throat> I wonder if I'll get invaded here. I don't think it's very likely, but it's not impossible. Yeah. Skeptic Spice. Unlike the Bell for I Soul, though, there is a boss here, obviously. I came to fight it. Is this NPC? It is. Masterless Glencore. He's cool. He used his Y-hander. I'm not going to summon him, though. I don't think I'll need him. I'm hoping I have not an absolutely horrible time with the gargoyles. I don't think I will. <clears throat> to raise that gate. Whoa! Bunch of them. Oh, wow. They must be doing like some uh, like dark damage, some elemental damage that I'm not blocking 100% of. so annoying they survive with just that little bitty sliver of life that like triggers me <laughs> radiant life gem and twilight herb all right I'm ringing the bell not sure if that raised the gate or what that did Eh. Yeah, I just heard it raise. That's what it did. Yeah, so kind of a smaller area. Is it Belfry or is it Belfry? I, I don't know how you pronounce that word. Belfry. You gods. 
crinkle fries and curly fries and Cajun fries and bell fries. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's uh, do Radiant Life Gems and do I have any decent weapon buffs? I've got Lightning, which I think they would be weak to, maybe. I only got one of them, though. What else would be useful? Anything? Not really. I mean, you just gotta survive. You just gotta not die. <clears throat> they can't inflict poison or anything like that. And they're just pain in the butt. Hmm. Green Blossom may not be a terrible idea. Yeah, we'll just do, we'll do that. That's fine. Uh, and I'll use one regular life gem to top off my health. Alright. Yeah, I'll go ahead and eat this outside of the boss room. Here we go. Gargoyles, let's do it. actually got really decent eye frames. Ow. If I could use them well, it'd be even better. Well, I'm about to die. Let's see here. Nope. have my shield up. Yeah, it's helping a lot. Yeah. Although the damage from two hand and the great sword is nothing to spit at. Or whatever however the saying goes. Life gem. Hey, get down from there and stop breathing fire, you little jerk. There we go. Stop you before you do that. Hey. Cut it out. Yep. The great sword. Press R1 until you win. <laughs> yeah, I'm not complaining though. This game throws enough bull crap at you, it can throw you a bone once in a while. That's how I look at it. A lot of people say that, <clears throat> and I talked about, uh, either the beginning of this video or the last one, I, I can't remember. I'm re recording episodes back to back here. Um, a lot of people say the whole life gem thing in Dark Souls 2 is like, oh, it lets you heal too much, and it's like she's in the game. I just don't feel that way at all. I mean, there's so much crap in this game that can damage you and in really cheap, cheesy ways. Like, I feel like that's kind of the game's way of balancing things in a way. I have no shame in using the life gems. I'll use all of them. Alright, we got a southern ritual band, and I can't remember what that does at all. Let's see. Go to my rings. Where's the southern ritual band? The band of southern rituals. I'm looking, but I'm just not seeing it because I'm like half blind. Here we go. Allows attunement of additional slots. Okay, one of those kind of rings. One of the secret treasures restored in Aldia raises the number of spells you may attune. This modest looking ring contains very powerful magic. To imagine what unspeakable deeds were performed to create such rings, one need only recall the cruel fate of the residents of Aldia. Aldia is a place that's also a person, and he did some pretty wild stuff, experimenting on 
people, like undead and whatnot, so yeah. It's no surprise to me he'd come up with something like that. <clears throat> Alright, another bonfire. And down here we got dogs. Doggies. You like doggies? <laughs> oh, the doggies. Oh boy, I'm gonna play with the doggies. Only 5,000 of them. See, like, I don't feel bad about pressing R1 and just killing all of them in one hit. And you, you just show up with your spear and you're all like, Eh, I'm Vorgil the Senior. I'm gonna pet you with my spear. <laughs> Flatten you out good and proper. Get out of here. Stupid. Soul of a nameless soldier. And oddly enough, a dragon tooth just, just sitting here randomly. Makes no sense. Petrified something and a bright bug. Bright bugs are useful. I don't think I've ever actually used them for anything, but I think they'll come in handy. Got the enchanted falchion. I don't know why that's here either. It's another uh, weapon from Dark Souls 1. It's just a plain old falchion that's been enchanted with magic. Alrighty. <clears throat> Back to Majula. Majula. Blue bird. Level up a little bit more. Bear of Strength is starting to jump up considerably now. Oh, and health is too. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. So I'll put a point into health and a point into strength. Okay. Let's see, I think I accidentally somehow maxed out this covenant. I wonder if he says anything about that. I will always be here, watching over you. You're so much nicer than the crestfallen. Hmm. Gives you hush. So much nicer than the crestfallen and uh. Aids tap in the cathedral. Dark Souls one. Leading there is the gate, but how it. He doesn't say anything. May yet. you find peace on your journey. Crestfallen in like Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, none of them offer to watch over you. Jerks. Um. Hmm. Can I reinforce anything with you? I have one chunk. You know, I. Hmm. What about my shield that I'm using? Can I reinforce my shield some more? I can. Yeah, let's do that. And one chunk will put my stability at 55, but I don't have enough storage right around. now. That's fine. I'll hang on to my chunk anyway. <clears throat> Alright, so... Back to the Lost Bastille once again. This time to Strayed Cell. And I'm going to start heading towards the uh, Lost Center. 
And then I'll probably call this part. Oh, shift myself around here. Okay. It's sitting kind of sideways. Got my shoulder all bleh. Let's see. Uh, there's nothing new I can get from straight. Wait. Might be with a gargoyle soul. Let me see here. Gargoyle. Y'all remember Disney's uh, Gargoyles, the animated series? That was pretty cool. I didn't get to watch it much as a kid, but I watched it some, and yeah, it was pretty pretty cool. I think I'd watch it as an adult. <clears throat> Soul of a Gargoyle of the Lost Bastille. The elaborate stone statues on the Belfry, Belfry, whatever, mysteriously came to life. And that, that's the lore. Not, nothing else. Not very interesting, but what can you do? Well, this is a most peculiar soul. Isn't it, though? Very good. Very good indeed. I'm, I'm glad that I make you so happy. Unusual spells. <laughs> I don't know that it makes a spell, though. Let's see. Yep, the gargoyle bite it. Starts off with an A scaling in strength, and I do have the stats to use it. Hmm. I wonder what it upgrades with. A two-pronged spear that imitates a weapon mentioned in an ancient text. Gargoyles are said to guard castles and forts from ill fortune, and they have appeared in many forms in all the great lands throughout history. Some of them are so meticulously crafted that they look as if they might come to life. <laughs> Hmm. I guess it would upgrade with like a um, petrified dragon bone. Wonder how many of those I have. Let's see, what about spells? Nah, he doesn't make any spells with the gargoyle soul. He mostly makes weapons from uh <clears throat> boss souls. I think I don't think he makes too many spells from them. We'll see as I go further along and get some more stuff. Hmm. Feeble cash. cash line. Yeah, you know what? I'm curious about it. Let me uh pop some souls here. What have I got? Oh yeah, soul of a brave warrior would be plenty. Well, there. Also got the Dragon Rider's Halberd, which appears to scale with intelligence. Is that a C scaling with intelligence? Doesn't have an intelligence requirement, but does it do magic damage? It does. Huh. Interesting. Got the Bone Scythe. I'm not interested in scythes, though. Scythes. Hmm. Yeah, so. I was also interested in the giant stone axe, but I read that it's not actually that good. I don't know, I may still eventually get it. Let's do this, though. Have a nice, strong, pokey weapon. Feeble. Yeah. Yeah, sure, we'll go on back to Majula see what it upgrades with. Before I upgrade it though, I guess I should check its moveset and see if it's something I would actually use. Because <clears throat> I mean, I've got the stock, which would be, you know, that's a good, like, quick poke weapon, but I have a feeling the gargoyle bite in would be, like, much stronger. So base damage would be 238. Not bad. It looks cool. Hmm. It's not real fast, but it's not bad either. R2. Just stronger thrust attacks. What about two handed? So it's literally like it's exclusively thrust. Which I mean that's that's not 
a bad thing in and of itself. It looks like a weapon you could kind of swing around, though. Oh, whatever. Let's see what it will upgrade with. Where's old... Old man Blacks Blacksmith Jenkins over here. What is his name? <laughs> Lenegrass, that's right. Blue. Stupid. Reinforce. Uh, hmm, where is it at? Yeah, Petrified Dragon Bones. Which I think will end up being more plentiful as I go forward in the game, so... I'll just use them now. Sure, whatever. We'll use this for a bit. If I don't like it, no big deal. Need more souls to upgrade it one more time. I'll be around. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I'm talking to you and say, You again? Huh, why do you keep coming back? What? What? So now it's 334. Next time upgraded to be uh, 365. That's pretty good. It's a running attack. What about this? Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. Straight out of Dark Souls 1. Spear moveset. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll use this for a little bit. See, see if it's any good. Go back to straight cell. <clears throat> I'm gonna start to approach the lost center. I'm gonna at least try to get to that uh, bonfire of that tower. I know it'll kill these guys. There we go. If I find myself in like tight corridors, it'll be helpful. That's what the best deal key opens. And what's over here? Nothing. It's just a little little place you can drop down. Oh, it's actually like a it's kind of a shortcut. Yeah. Cuz this is where I'm going anyway. Hm, okay. There we go. Life gem times 8. That's a good find. See, yep. Yeah. And you can stab from behind a shield. That's good. We got archers. We got archers and we got this guy. Nice. I like the spear. I love the great sword, but, you know keep, at least in my case, when I'm playing these games, if I only use one weapon for, like, a long enough time, I get kind of bored. I like to switch it up and use all kinds of different weapons. Alright, I think up there, I believe this is where the bonfire is. Yeah, here we go. Light this up. And there's just a random torch here. Which I skipped a few torches in the best deal, but I feel compelled to light this one. There we go. Yay! I'm trying to do that. Okay. Alright. I'll actually cut it here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon with more Dark Souls 2. Until then, y'all take care.